hey there champions this is miss gardner um on your screen you should see your assignment for today on seesaw and we have been talking a lot about place value and putting tens in the right place and ones in the right place and last week you circled uh, groups of ten and so um, this week we are um, transitioning into learning about base ten blocks so on your screen you see lots of base 10 blocks. So um, let's look at this specific one right here, your very first one. When we are doing base 10 blocks to figure out what our number is, we just simply look and see how many 10 towers we have and how many ones we have, okay? So let's look at this one first. I can see right here that I have a 10 tower, a 10 tower is representative of 10, right? Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So when you are counting and you see base 10 blocks, you can do it really quickly by saying 10, 11, 12, 13, right? I immediately knew that this base 10 block equaled 10, so I knew I could just start with 10 and then count my ones. So that's what I did, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm going to find number 13, which is right here. Um, it has scissors over on the left-hand side, but you are just gonna write the number 13 in the space provided. Thir Let's go ahead and we'll do one more together. All right, let's go to the second one. Um, immediately I know that this equals 10, so I'm gonna start at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, so now I know that there are 15 blocks altogether. Another way that you can do it is you can say, well, I know that there is one 10 tens block right here. So I can go ahead and write number one in my tens place, and then one, two, three, four, five. I have five ones, right? I could also just say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Come down here and find number 15. So you can cross these out if you want after you use them, which would be the easiest thing, and that way you know that you only have 11, 12, 14, and 16 to match up here. All right, have fun and do your best. 